the Himalayas, one of the world's most stunning mountain ranges, home to the tallest mountain in the world, the pinnacle of achievement for elite climbers and altitude junkies. But at the bottom of this intimidating giant lies a goal achievable by everyday people. A goal that takes you on a journey physically and mentally. A journey that for some is just a stepping stone to bigger things, and for others, a life-changing experience. To get to base camp would mean everything. You save up the money, you work towards it. So to actually make it to the goal would be everything. It's more to be closer to Himalayas and to the place where all expeditions are starting. I think it'd be a real achievement. It's not something I ever really considered that I could do. So I think when I achieve it, it's going to kind of open up a whole new world of possibilities for me, I think. It's not a personal thing. I am going to every space camp to raise money for the Army Benevolent Fund. Getting to Everest Base Camp is a huge goal for me. One day I'd love to summit Everest, so this is my first time touching the mountain, first time seeing it. Altitude, breathtaking views and difficult terrain. If you're looking for adventure, there's nothing quite like the journey to Base Camp. The mountain culture of the Nepalese people is just unbelievable. The Sherpas and the porters are unreal. They're carrying food up 800 meter high inclines and you know, it's just on their back. They're 50 kilos on their back as they walk up these steep things and we're struggling with a little day pack. We saw one guy the other day carrying a refrigerator up the hill, just strapped to his back, like, like it was just this daily thing he does. I think you have to come here to truly appreciate what a remote region this is. As you're trekking, there is a call of do boss coming, to which you have to squash yourself against the wall and they come. And then if you're heading to a suspension bridge and you want to run across it, they're very bouncy by the way, I didn't particularly like them. If the mules or the dew boss are walking across the bridge, you cannot. Never cross a dew boss or a yak or a mule on a bouncy suspension bridge. The guides have been fantastic. Dow is so, he knows what he's doing. He's summited Everest twice, which, you know, throws him right up there in my book. And then his dad leading us ahead. He's just an absolute champion. Um, yeah, couldn't ask for better guides. They know how to get you there, whether you're the fastest person or the slowest person. They know how to treat every single person differently. They're very observant. They can tell if you're struggling and they will make a point of coming over to you and saying, how are you doing? How are you doing, Steve? Is there anything I can do to help? And then you just, you're open and honest with them and they get you there. It's relentless and the guides just make it that little bit easier. Well, they make it a lot easier. <laughs> they make it so much easier. Our group dynamic's been really, really good. Um, we've, had, we've had such a good team. All the people have sort of mixed really well. Um, quite often we'll split off in, into a faster group walking ahead, a slower group walking behind, but you know, other night when we're all sitting around having dinner and that, and, or you know, having breakfast, it works really well. You eat together, you know, you just walk together, and it's not like you walk with, together with one person, you just change, you know, and yeah, after I think you really can get good friends here. Fitness-wise, to get to Everest Base Camp, you should do some training. You should get out there with a pack on your back, build up leg strength. There is a lot of uphill stuff. If you don't do the training, you can still get there, but doing the training just makes it such a more enjoyable journey. It's been far tougher, I think, than I thought it would be. 
So I felt fit enough, but the altitude has caused me problems. It's really hard to describe altitude sickness, but when you've got it, you know you've got it. Even though it feels bad, you know, you have to be strong in your mind and, and just crack on. That's the weird thing about this trip. You just, you've got this goal that you need to get to and you do whatever you can to get there. <laughs> I feel amazing, triumphant, emotional, like completely just amazing. Uh, I just, uh, it's such an achievement to actually be able to actually see this. Uh, and it's tears of joy. It's not. It's not um, anything other than that. I'm just so proud of myself that I managed it. Uh, and the team. Actually, considering, I feel pretty good. I'm actually not too out of breath. It's been tough, but it is quite an achievement. But you know what? It's great to see these guys having made it. This is it. That, that's that achievement, you know. Hard work, hard work was paid off. I'm buzzing over here, to be honest. That's good, it's been really good, good team. This is hard to describe, there's so many things to say about such an experience. Reaching somewhere that so many people uh, have reached, so many people you've read about, perhaps. Maybe a little glip, glimpse for their adventure. It's unreal, it's a pretty crazy experience. Um, I've seen photos of it, but it's, yeah, it's totally different when you're here. Come here, come here. <laughs> it's because of these guys that we can do what we've done. Because without them, we ain't ever gonna make base camp. Thank you so much, Cookie. Thank you so much. It just means so much to me. If you're, if you're interested in any type of adventure, this is something you've got to tick off the list. 